Good morning. Today we are going to discuss uh, key features of different types of volumes on a hard drive. So let's start with uh, the various types of hard drive volumes we can create and its requirements. So five types of volumes we generally use to create. First one is simple volume, second is span volume, third one is striped volume, it is also known as RAID 0. Fourth one is mirrored volume, it's the RAID 1, and fifth one is RAID 5 volume. So let's have a look on the requirement for creating these volumes. So to create a simple volume, we need only one hard drive and it must be converted to dynamic disk. So only one hard disk is required to create simple volume. To create span volume, minimum of two hard drive is required and we can have more hard drives and um, it must be converted to dynamic. Striped volume, also known as redundant array of independent disks or in, in, inexpensive disks. Uh, uh, it requires two dynamic, two or more dynamic disks. Uh, and mirror volume again requires uh, two or more dynamic disks. And RAID 5, it needs minimum of three hard drives. As far as operating system is concerned, uh, Windows XP supports uh, simple volume, span volume and striped volume only. If you want to create mirrored volume and RAID 5, apart from the hardware requirement, need, you need to have server operating system. Okay, let's uh, come on and have a look on simple volume. So, first, uh, what you need to do is when you are working uh, with a basic disk you need to convert as you can see here the drive you right now you are having is a basic disk first you need to convert it to dynamic disk once you convert it and restart your computer it will appear as dynamic and the partitions primary extended logical will vanish and now it will be simply uh, converted to volumes so this one you is basically a simple volume so uh, let's have a look on what a simple volume is a simple volume is made up of free space of single dynamic disk and what is the feature of having a simple volume it is that we can if required we can extend the volume extend means we can increase the volume size by adding free space of same hard disk drive or other hard disk drive key thing about this point is that once you add uh, space from other hard disk drive it no more remains the simple volume that is a simple volume is a disk which can occupy space space of only one partition one hard disk drive so once you add space from second hard disk it will be converted to a span volume okay so the key advantage of using a simple volume that it can be extended. So you can see these two are basically span uh, simple volumes. Now let's have a look on span volume. Span volume to need to you need to have a, a minimum of two hard disk drives and both having three spaces and both must be dynamic. You are having two hard drives. This is hard disk one. This one is hard disk two. So uh, the key feature you can again extend it and you can add space from same hard disk or another hard disk. The second advantage is that you can have large volumes with the help of uh, span volume. So you want to add space of two hard drives. Say both are having capacity of 500 GB and you want a volume of size 1 TB. So you can create a one volume by adding space from both the hard drives. This is the key advantage. So, so two advantages are associated with one number one is you can extend it, number two is you can create large volumes using span volume. These are the key features of span volume. Let's uh, uh, have there is more uh, important one more important point about it. You can add these are two hard drives. This zero is first hard disk, this one is second hard disk. You can add different space, say you are take, picking up 1200 MB and uh, from first hard disk and 1500 mb of second hard disk this is the one so total is 27 mb 
of a space is allocated for this. This is the next key point about span volume. So next is striped volume. Striped volume is basically known as red zero, and uh, uh, a striped volume can be created with free space of two or more dynamic disks. And uh, what is the key advantage of having a striped volume is that uh, it gives faster access to data. Okay, why this gives faster access to data? Because of the mechanism using which it stores, it stores the data. So here you can see there are two drives. This is hardest one, and this one is hardest two. So it stores first block of data in first hard drive, and second block of data is stored in um, second hard drive. Then third one is here, fourth is here, fifth is here, sixth. This type of storage mechanism is actually known as striped. Uh, uh, striping of data, okay, striped data. So it uh, the disadvantage is that you cannot extend it or mirror it. Mirroring is just copying data, copying of same data, replicating of data at two places. So it does not allows it cannot be extended nor it can be mirrored. So it uses RAID zero. It stripes data uh, across multiple disks. It does not offer fault tolerance. It is not fault tolerant. You cannot uh, even recover data if data is lost. If one of the disks contains stripe volume, fails the entire volume. Say if the stripe is uh, damaged, you can recover data. Okay. Here you can see all three volumes that we have seen so far. This is simple volume. This one is span volume, and this one is. Uh, Stripe volume. Let's come on to the next volume. Uh, say uh, there is one more point about stripe volume. That is that it requires sequel space of both the hard drives. Say it is using 12 MB and 100 MB of disk zero and 1200 MB of disk one. This is another key point about uh, stripe volume. Span volume. In uh, you have seen that we can have different spaces from both the drives. But here it is compulsory to have equal size of both the drives. So, so next come on to the mirrored volume. A mirrored volume can be created with free space on two or more uh, dynamic disks. So you can have minimum of two hard drives and uh, it must be dynamic. A mirror volume cannot be extended but it is fault tolerant and uh, it stores data in two separate drives say you are storing a file abc it will be stored on two separate locations okay so on, on two different hard drives so it stores all data in at two places two drives say drive first drive and second drive so in that case uh, if one drive is damaged you can still have you can still have access to your data so this is uh, the key feature of uh, uh, mirrored volume, but it cannot be extended. So here you can see it stores data. Uh, block one, block two, block three. These are different. These, these are representing different data, and same data is replicated here. That is, uh, this is stored at two places here and here two drives. So in case this drive fails, you can still access to your data. Uh, you can have still access to your data from this drive. So this is the key feature of a, of your uh, hard drive. So uh, another key feature is that if you want no longer want to have a mirrored volume, you can simply uh, remove the volume. Okay. So mirror volume will something look like this. But uh, once you remove the volume, it will be converted to simple volume. So you can release first one uh, drive, and only one drive will be available so uh, if you are using 2 gb of space of uh, mm, uh, disk 1 and it will use 2 gb of space of disk 2 also so the partition size will be of 2 gb only why because it will replicate data at two different places okay so the uh, similar points are mentioned here if required we can remove the mirror without without losing any data on removing mirror, mirrored volume can be converted to simple volume and space of second disk will be released. Let's come on to the last one that is RAID 
5. It stands for redundant diary of an expensive disk or redundant diary of independent drives. And uh, RAID is a technology that is used to increase the performance and reliability of data storage. Okay. So uh, it gives you feature to recover your data. Uh, it is a simple volume with parity. Basically, it's like volume, not a simple volume. It, uh, it stores data in stripes along with parity. Parity is basically a code that is used to recover your data if one of your drive is damaged. So it, uh, it stores data with parity. A RAID 5 volume can be created with free space on three or more up to 16 hard drive sequencing dynamic disk. So uh, here you can see uh, uh, here this is this represents data and this is, is nothing but your parity code. So it stores data with parity. And that parity will be used to regenerate your data. So these points are mentioned here. As typed uh, with parity volume is a fault tolerant volume with data and parity striped across three or more physical disks. If a portion of physical disk fails, you can recreate the data that was on the failed portion from the remaining data and parity. This is the key feature of having a uh, RAID 5 volume. So, if some one data hard disk is corrupted, damaged, you can still create the data. Let's have a comparative study. Uh, requirement: simple, uh, These are five different volumes. So, requirement: it, This one only needs one volume, one drive. Remaining all requires minimum of two, and RAID requires minimum of three dynamic disks. You can add more disks: two, three, four, five, anything like that. Can we extend it? Yes, it can be extended, it can be extended, rest cannot be extended. So these are basically uh, key features of having these two, these two that we can extend it and this one can support large volume size. Okay. And uh, which operating system support these volumes? So XP support these three volumes that is simple volume, span volume and stripe volume. But if you want to create mirrored volume or RAID 5, you need to have or server operating system or higher version of server operating system so uh, whenever you are using striped volume kind of things you are data you're storing data in stripes so it gives you fast access to data the striped volume the key feature of having a striped volume is uh, it gives you fast access to data and RAID 5 also stores data with stripe in stripes with parity so it also gives access to fast access to your data. These all are not fault tolerant, but mirrored and uh, read volume are fault tolerant. It helps you to recover data when one drive is lost. In case of uh, failure, it gives you a recovery of data and it gives you access to your data even if one drive is lost. Redundancy this one stores data at two places. Same data is stored at two places. So it stores redundant data. And the remaining None of them are redundant. There is one more uh, point about uh, the drives. It is the space requirement. Simple drive volume requires uh, only one drive. It is having two drives, and it you can use different space. Say 1200 MB of one drive, 1500 MB of other drive, and uh, this drive. And this drive uses equal space of both the hard disk drives. Same is the case with uh, your mirrored volume and your red file. That's all for now. Thank you.